Welcome back to No Recipes, where we elevate everyday meals using tried and true techniques. I'm Mark Matsumoto, and today we're going to be making little Hungarian dumplings called nokedli. They're a bit like German spatzle, and they go great with a hearty stew like chicken paprikash. They're also a delicious homemade pasta that works well with a wide variety of sauces. All right, let's get started. Our ingredients today are bread flour, eggs, sour cream or yogurt, and salt. You may also need a little bit of milk or water. We're gonna start off by adding some salt to the flour and stirring this all together. Now, we're gonna crack two eggs into the flour mixture. Then we're gonna add the sour cream. My eggs are a bit small and the sour cream is a bit thick, so I'm probably going to have to add a bit of milk to the dough to get it to the right consistency. Now we're just going to mix this up until it all comes together into a dough. Let's go ahead and speed that up. Okay, the dough is coming together, but the texture is a little too dry and firm. To loosen things up a bit, I'm going to add a bit of milk, but water will work as well. I'm looking for a dough that has a texture that's somewhere between waffle batter and bread dough. When you're adjusting the texture, be careful not to add too much liquid at once because you can always add more if it needs it. If you do end up making your dough too soft, don't worry, you can always add more flour to make it firmer. There we go. That looks just about right. Now all we have to do is shape and boil the nokedli. There are a couple ways to do this, but my favorite is to pass the dough through the back side of a cheese grater. I have a little dough on the grater, and then I'm going to use a silicon spatula and some firm strokes to get the dough to squeeze out of the holes and drop into the water. Maybe I'm crazy, but there's something super satisfying about making these mini dumplings this way. If you don't have a cheese grater, Anything with medium sized holes like a slotted spoon will work. Another way to make these is to spread the dough on a flat surface like a wet cutting board or in this case, the back of a spatula. Then we're going to use the back side of a knife to cut little dumplings and drop them into the boiling water. Be sure to do this in batches, otherwise the dumplings are going to get overcooked. Once the noked leaf float to the surface, give them 30 seconds to make sure they're cooked through and then use a slotted spoon to remove them from the pot and get started on the next batch. Be sure to toss your cooked nokedli with a little butter or olive oil to keep them from sticking together. These easy little dumplings make for the perfect side for a rich stew like chicken paprikash, but they can also make for a quick homemade pasta that you can throw together in minutes. If you end up having leftovers, Nokedli is delicious reheated with some butter in a frying pan, but they're also fantastic added to a bowl of steaming hot chicken soup. Well, that's it for this week, but check out the link in the description for the full recipe, and while you're down there, drop me a comment to let me know what you want to see me make next. If you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss my next delicious video.